Hello everyone, good afternoon. Let's zoom in on my face and get started. I'm doing a get ready with me. Well, I guess we're not like zooming in, but you know, chatting distance here. Yes, my hair is wet. I just took a shower and I don't, well, I shouldn't say I don't, but I do try to not use heat on my hair. So that's, it's drying. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm really not doing anything in this video other than getting ready, so I hope you can deal with uh, my wet hair. I know. I'm asking a lot. <laughs> For some people, though, I, I really I am. If you are new to my channel slash my Get Ready With Me videos, I always list the products in the description down below so do check there because I really don't go through what I'm using for the most part because I think that's a lot more boring than just chatting with you and that's I don't know for me that's what I personally like about chatty get ready with me is I like being able to have the video on in the background and you know the person chatting to me and you know you know you know okay so let's chat I know my uh my skin looks awful, doesn't it? It's... It's getting there. <laughs> Once I put this on, you'll be able to see. I'm sure by the time I've already uploaded this video, I'm going to have had the review that I did on the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Hello, honey. Thank you again to Mindy who sent this to me. I can't say I've really been enjoying it because I've only tried it once, and that one time that I tried it, um... Okay. Okay, who was it? Nikki? Nikki Murray, I think your username is? You told me I shouldn't do circular motions. I should do downward swiping. And that's supposed to be better. Am I doing it right? You guys, I'm as much as a noob at makeup as most of you probably are. I mean, <laughs> so don't ever feel scared to like give me advice if I'm doing something wrong. Just like do it in a respectful manner. Um, Nikki, you're you're totally fine. Uh, I'm I'm not talking about most people. Most people are very nice about things, but some people some people are not. Anyways, let's not talk about the negative. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Pretty nice though, huh? It does have a very strong scent to it though as I said in that video, so if you are not good with scented foundations, uh, stay away from this because it is very, very scented. Thankfully it's not a bad scent, but when I first did this CC cream video review thing, I didn't know we were going to be going bar hopping that night. <laughs> and my friends and I, you know, we like to get out on the dance floor and dance it up and I'm a very sweaty person and those bars were very hot so I don't care what uh, foundation I would have been trying out it did not last <laughs> uh, it was pretty much all gone so I am retesting it today uh, I feel bad like I feel like it's kind of a crap first impression review video whatever but I mean it is what it is. I'd rather keep the integrity of a first impression than like pretend that I'm doing a first impression again, you know, and lie like, I haven't opened this and tried this before, you know? I just, I'm not a good liar anyways, so. Oh, man. It was a really fun night though. Uh, Tonight, I am going to see two of my very best friends, Carmen and Jacob, so that will be fun. I always have a good, good time with them. You know, we're just gonna hang out and go get dinner and chat. All that good stuff that you typically would do with friends, you know? I just got back from the gym. Hence, took a shower, you know, it makes sense, right? And there was this girl at the gym. I don't know what was going on. I don't, it probably had nothing to do with me, but like I was there, so it was affecting me. <laughs> and I don't know what she was doing. I don't know what was going on, but she kept like 
pacing in front of the row of machines that I was on and just like going back and forth and back and forth and she like looked like she was doing something wrong. You know how people get that look on their face like they're trying to hide something? Like, I don't know, if you've ever worked retail, you know the look of a thief when they're stealing something. But it was freaking me out. It was freaking me out really bad. It was just like creepy. And I wanted to be like, um, ma'am, can you please stop pacing? Like, you're making me nervous. And you're making me feel disgusting. Like I said, it had absolutely nothing to do with me. Uh, but I am like a very sweaty and disgusting person. And so when I'm at the gym, I mean, you would not recognize me, I swear. And so it just like made me feel extra sweaty and disgusting. Uh even though I know it had nothing to do with me, but whatever. I had one of those dreams last night where it felt so real and it was such a nice dream. It was such a nice dream. Ah! And I'm so sad that it was not reality, but it felt you know? Just one of those dreams where it's like you really felt the person that you were with and like the laughter was real and like you could feel the water like I was at a beach in this one. Like it just, ugh. <laughs> I'm so sad that that's not real life. <laughs> oh. oh well. You know? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it real. I mean, I, I won't. I have no control over what happened in the dream, but I'm gonna take my hair out of the clip so that hopefully it can dry a little more. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, look at those ringlets. I really did feel like I had a lot to talk about and now I'm sitting down and I'm like, boo, boo, boo. So how are you guys doing? Oh, you're all doing well. It's finally starting to cool down a little bit, like maybe five degrees cooler than it has been this summer. So I'm excited, we're going into fall. So excited. Oh, that was something I wanted to talk about. I feel like I always talk about how I'm always blown away by the kindness of people, of you all, and just people, people in general. So I went to my P.O. box this last week, just like usual. I shouldn't say like usual, but I went to see if there was anything there, just in case. And I got a package. If you, I don't know, I feel like I've talked about them more than just in my IMATS video, but the company that makes these brushes, they're from Outer Beauty. I love them. Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. I feel like I've been mentioning you a lot in my videos lately. Um, she's wonderful though. When I was at IMATS and I was walking around the booths and stuff with Jen, she had said she had already purchased some brushes from Outer Beauty and I touched them and I needed some too. Like, needed some. They're so soft and so wonderful. And I talked about how much I loved them there and like, I think it was in another Get Ready With Me video that I was talking about, uh, the Outer Beauty brushes because I was trying them out for the first time and how much I loved them and blah blah blah. Did I mention them in a favorites? I probably did there too. Like I just, I really fell in love with their brushes, like plain and simple. And the company, Outer Beauty, if you, I, I mean I don't know that you would be watching this video, but see me in here, get going on my eye makeup. They sent me two sets of brushes! Like a set of face brushes and a set of eye brushes and I just like wanted to cry. Just like, ugh. Uh, uh. I don't know, it's like the first time a company has like not even asked to send me so like I don't know it shouldn't it really doesn't sound like there's much of a difference but you know usually when a company like contacts you it's like hey do you want to do this collaboration like do you want to do a video about our products which like fine but to have a company just be like here are some of our brushes like if you want to talk about them in a video great enjoy you know like no incentive or like 
you know it just like I don't uh, I just I was very 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 thankful so thank you and thank you to anyone who has ever sent anything to me in my PO box it means more to me than words will ever begin to say or describe or whatever so yeah I really do I appreciate it some of you have asked me Cassie have you used your Serenity Scott palette that you got from iMats? No, <laughs> not really. It is, it's a beaut though, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna try and start using it. You know, it's fall, it's time for these kind of colors. You know, I need to have fun with my makeup. I need to do something different. At least do, I don't know, different colors, different whatevers. So I'll try. These shadows are so, oh my God, buttery and delicious, oh my God. God, I mean, I'm sure you saw, I have not, like, not even swatched mine yet. I mean, I swatched them at IMATS, but holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, I'm so excited. Come on, Cass, there's gotta be something else to talk about here. Uh-oh, guys. I don't know what else there is to talk about! Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. It'll be prettier when I blend it. Okay, now I'm very scared. I'm gonna go with a purple. I've been wearing purple eyeliner this month, and it's been a journey. <laughs> I mean, not really, but I mean, it is something different for me. I think it's good to expand your horizons. Oh my gosh! This is beautiful! This is beautiful! I'm dying. I think I'm dying. You guys ready? One more time. Oh, there's something to talk about. So, with music, now I'm thinking of my my sad iPod that I've had for probably eight years now, seven, eight years. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Oh my god, these shadows. Uh, that's at least the mentality I like to live by. And it's done me alright so far. But my iPod is finally starting to, like, die. <laughs> like, it's still totally usable. I still think I'm going to be able to get a lot of life out of it. I just think a new iPod's probably going to be what I asked for for Christmas this year. Because I do use my iPod on, like, a daily basis. For the most part. I, uh... I don't know that I've mentioned it before, but... I have, uh, social anxiety. And... I really have, I mean, I'm on, like, medication and stuff that really does help me out, but there still are times, like, sometimes if I'm just, like, at the grocery store, or, like, I'm out shopping or, like, you know, whatever, if I'm, like, by myself, I get flare-ups, I guess you could call it, maybe, of anxiety, and then I have a panic attack, and I mean, it's it's not fun. So I carry around my iPod with me, because at least that's one trick that I like using, is popping in my headphones and pretending like the world is not there. It's just me and my music, you know? So if you have social anxiety, it does help. Like I remember, especially when I was at uh, undergrad or even grad school, um, you know, on the trains and stuff. But especially in undergrad, it was like when I first started having my social anxiety, but um, just like walking around campus, it was so, oh, so helpful to like, just stare at the ground, you've got your iPod, at, like your headphones in, just keep walking, keep walking, you can do it. It sounds so stupid, I know, to like anyone who doesn't have it, you're like, what, seriously? Yeah, yeah, seriously, so, um, anyways, my iPod. My iPod, I don't know what exactly is wrong with it, but basically it never shuts off and it continuously keeps turning itself on, so it's just like playing 24-7. So the battery dies really quick because it's always on, even if I lock it and like, you know, I've tried everything. 
but also something that was happening is that my computer like wasn't recognizing it and so I couldn't import new music onto my iPod and it was so annoying like I just I had so much music where I'm like I want to listen to this out and about but I can't <sighs> but today I randomly was like you know what I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna try plugging my iPod into my computer again to see if I can get some of this new music on there and it worked it worked! This was very exciting, you guys. It's literally probably been like four months, three months since I've been able to, you know, put new podcasts or new music, whatever. I haven't been able to, but I've wanted to. Especially my favorite podcast of all. <laughs> Some of you might be like, really, Cassie? But like, yeah, really. It's my favorite, um, Shane Dawson. <sighs> yeah, favorite podcast ever. But yeah, there's the eye look. Ooh, ooh, so purpley and burgundy and pretty, right? Uh, let's put on mascara. And then also, I was so frustrated. This was maybe like a couple weeks ago now, but I was editing a video one night. That's a lie. I think I had been editing a video, and then I was, um, sorry, one second. I think I can do top mascara while talking to you guys, but bottom mascara, uh-uh. One second. Oh, okay. I think I was working on my project that I'm doing for my aunt right now. And so I was working on my computer, whatever, whatever. And all of a sudden, I heard this loud pop. And then like a really bad smell. And uh, my laptop charger just decided to explode. I mean, I don't know that it actually exploded, but I think internally inside of the uh, box part of it. Not the plug-in part, but the... I don't know. If you have a Apple computer, you know which part I'm talking about, right? I was so mad. I was so mad. So I had to go in and buy another one. There goes $80. Ugh. And a freaking charger. Give me a break. But whatever, my laptop, as sad as it is, is like literally my life. It's, uh, you know, how I do my hobbies, it's how I, at this point, am making money, uh, you know, helping my aunt out and stuff, <laughs> like, I just, I need my computer, so. Buying a new charger was not even, like, I mean, no, I don't really have the m like, okay, I have the money, but, like, did I want to go spend it on a charger? No. No, I did not. But whatever. I did it, and all is well. I am curious to see, I know I had talked to you all about this mascara, the Supersizer, the waterproof version, in my last, I believe, Best and Worst of Beauty, and this one is almost all done. I had asked you all if you felt like the waterproof version was a lot drier than the normal version, because for me, this tube of waterproof is like super dry, but like I love the original version so much, I just, I need waterproof mascara. But I hate dry mascaras, you know? Um, I mean, look at that. What? Look at the difference. Yeah. I love this mascara. So I asked you all if you had dry tubes, and most of you, I think one or two people said their tubes were dry, but most of you said no, like it is super wet, blah 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 blah. So I did go and get another tube of the waterproof. So, once this one is finally out, I will be trying out another tube of the waterproof and I will be sure to let y'all know. I feel like these lashes aren't as good. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh yeah, look at those. All right, just a little more you guys. Gotta put my brows on. Oh, looking at my NYX brow marker thing. I don't think I've said this yet. 
I did just put in a bleh. I did just put a picture on Instagram though. I finally got the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks to try out for you all. So I'm very excited to test those out. I haven't yet. I never know the order of my video uploading though. I mean, I've got two videos on standby right now, two foundation reviews. I know I'm gonna have to be doing my September Best and Worst of Beauty soon. And then this video I'll have on cue and um, yeah. So I have no idea when that video is going to go up, especially not in relation to this video, but if it is already up, I will be sure to link that down below for you. And if not, I guess just stay tuned. I'm really excited to try those out. I'll probably be trying those out next week. It's Friday right now, so by next week I mean, I don't know, Monday or something. I just plucked my brows for like the first time in a week today. Oh my gosh, you guys, they were getting bad. Like, way worse than usual. Like my brows are ever evolving. Sometimes I've got them super bushy, super dark. Sometimes I'm okay with that, sometimes I'm really not. <laughs> but some people hate my eyebrows. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Some people hate my eyebrows, some people hate my skin, some people hate my hair. You know, whatever. Such is life. It is what it is, and I'm just working with it the best I can, or the most that I want to. <laughs> I feel like some people care about other people a little too much, and not caring in a good way, but like, you know what I mean. Especially on YouTube. Like, I love YouTube too, but some people get way too invested in people's lives. Like, people that they don't even like. I'm just like, bruh. Dude, I don't even know what I'm doing to this brow. <laughs> um, but like, you know? Go do something that gives you joy. You know? And if hating on other people slash like, disliking other people, whatever word you're gonna want to use, if that brings you joy, oof. It's gonna be a long, long life. Okay, so I don't know what I did to that eyebrow, but whatever. <laughs> Jacob and Carmen love me for who I am. <sighs> I've literally known Jacob since the womb, kind of. My mom and his mom used to work together, and then they were pregnant, and you know, whatever. Uh, and then I went to daycare with him, and yada yada yada. And Carmen I've known since middle school-ish, maybe? But yeah, anyways, anyways. Um, here's my makeup. Looks all right, right? I can go out. I need to put on lipstick. Uno momento. Lipstick time. I've been loving this lipstick from MAC. It is Real Redhead. It was from their MAC is Beauty collection, which I feel like you can still get that on like Macy's or Nordstrom or something. Certain websites still have it in stock. I think it didn't do too well for a couple reasons. One, because the packaging isn't limited edition or anything. Uh, it's just their normal black packaging. And then also, I'm pretty sure, well not all of, but most of the lipsticks from the collection were lusters and I know a lot of people do not like lusters. I don't know why, they're my absolute favorite, but... I have been loving this lipstick. It's just such a nice, soft, neutral. You know, it's just got that little flush of a pinky brown, but it's really sheer and natural. I don't know. I just, I've really been liking it, especially for nights like this where I'm just going out to dinner. Like, I don't want to have to be worried about my lipstick. Oh my gosh. There are so many mushrooms in my backyard! I'm gonna have to get that on video for you guys. Look at these weird mushrooms! They're so tall. I know they probably don't look tall, but... Like, what kind of mushroom is that? Like a chode penis shroom? What? What? They're so weird! They look like little aliens! Well, big aliens, they're tall. Look at them in their relation to the trees back there. Yikes! Oh my gosh, they're all the way over here too. Hello little chodes. What you doing? Look at that. Oh, it's moving! Gross! Hi! So yeah, 
there you go, there's the makeup. Just really kind of, kind of neutral, but like, obviously my eyes have got some color on them, but, you know, a little bit of peachy orange on the cheek, a little neutral lip, a little bit of dewy foundation, giving this CC cream another try. I think I look alright, right? Maybe? Alright you guys, so I think that's about it. Um, my hair's getting dry, <laughs> but uh, my makeup's done. Oh, no it's not. Setting spray. This stuff is almost out, I'm so sad. But that's okay, I have another setting spray that I'm excited to try. So, there. Now my makeup is done. I don't feel like I talked about anything too exciting, but I feel like that's kind of the norm for these Get Ready With Me videos, and you guys seem to like them. I feel like a lot of you respond well to them, so I'm glad. I'm glad you like these from me, so I'm happy to do them. I hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!